Hello and welcome to my next video. This is a part of another of my series looking at how to make gold in Guild Wars 2. So this is a video that's primarily going to be more concerned with the more experienced players, uh, players that have built up a lot of skill points. Um, so what I'm going to show you here, if we look at my character here, uh, uh, you can see that I've got plenty of uh, achievement points. But if we look at skill points, I've actually got over uh, you know 62 skill points. I did actually have almost 400. Um, if I just show you my bank here, uh, I've got almost over five, well 505 skill points sitting in the bank. Uh, it would take a long time to go through them. So. How can you use skill points to your advantage? Because as a player for Guild Wars 2, I have, you know, since the betas, I've acquired quite a number of skill points across all my characters. So here's how you can use skill points to convert them into gold. So first off, skill points are mainly spent uh, at the Mystic Forge, and this is through the character uh, Miyani. So if we go and have a sp uh, speak to her, she offers you many different things for your skill points. You can get a bloodstone shard, which is used for legendary weapons. So if you're going for them, that's the bloodstone shard. I think they're useful for a couple of other things. The Eldritch Scroll. Now this is a one that's very important. I found very, very useful uh, for making a lot of gold. Uh, crystals, Philosopher's Stone, Siege Master's Guide, they all are able to upgrade items, which is what I'm going to talk about uh, as well. We have the Bottles of Alone and Wine, which is required for most Mystic Forge recipes that I'm going to use. Uh, a lot of legendary gifts um, and some ascendant gifts there. So I've already uh, gone through this and I've bought out, um, so if we look at my inventory here, uh, what we've got here, we've got a stack of mithril, stack of elderwood logs, and we're going to look at the Siege Master's Guide, which is one skill point. That's all it is. And the Catapult Blueprints. So, the Catapult Blueprints are 298 each uh, on the trading post. So, uh, for to make a superior, which is what we're going to be doing, uh, it should be what around about 7 or 8 gold, uh, 7 or 8 silver for a catapult but if we look at the superior catapult it's around 21 silver and that's a substantial difference to the normal catapult so if you imagine two of the catapult blueprints would be six silver that's still a 15 silver difference and that's not covered by the elder wood or the mithril so this is where upgrading your catapults and selling them on the trading post can make you a lot of money especially if you do it uh, a number of times now I've acquired these Siege Masters guides from my characters. I run, uh, do several runs of the Black Lion uh, key by creating character, uh, getting the Black Lion key after the first personal story step, and then I have eight skill points or around eight skill points that I then uh, acquire these Siege Masters guides. It's free skill points rather than just you know destroying your character and wasting them. So we. Uh, enter this in the Mystic Forge, we get superior catapult blueprints. It's five mithril and five elderwood logs. You know, they're bit, that's two silver, I think, pretty much uh, each. And, you know, we do this for all the blueprints. Well, unfortunately, I've, uh, well, I can add in a couple of extra Siege Master's guides. But I haven't bought any of these blueprints. I Well, I have brought them through using medals of uh, the Badges of Honor. So, the only thing that you could acquire is the Mithril and Elder Logs, and there are plenty for a supply of them, they're very cheap. So, in essence, the only thing I've actually spent uh, is six silver here, and I'm getting out a substantial amount of profit. Um, so, this will be the last one. Oh, I've run out of, sil of uh, the uh, blueprints, so that's what's happened, um, rather than that. But... I've got eight superior catapult. I just want to show you. I have, uh, if we look, look, look on there, five thousand badges of honor to spend, and uh, the siege catapult blueprints are worth twelve badges of honor. So you can get uh, quite a lot spending on that. I haven't really spent much uh, in world versus world, but if we've got we've got eight superior catapults, let's sell them. Let's see how much we're going to sell them for. Uh, we'll sell them for that. So uh, minus the exchange fee and the listing fee, that's pretty much uh, just under one and a half gold. Simple. That's it. I've sold them one and a half gold. I haven't, you know, sp I've spent maybe. Uh, well, if we ignore this, because I've acquired the stacks through crafting, so I've not spent any me any money on that at all. 
that's that extra you know nice bit of gold in it there from the you know that I've just had in my bank um, the next step is what we're going to do we're going to upgrade items so the way we do this uh, if we can come out of that and go back in um, we're going to be using uh, mist charge cores we then have crystals that we get uh, three skill points get by us five crystals again I use my key runners to buy these crystals uh, and then the more expensive components the piles of crystalline dust and the bottles of alone and wine uh, there's only one alone in w uh, wine for 16 sil for 25 4 silver I think it is uh, and the pile of crystalline dust is worth around 20 silver so again items that I've acquired I've only I'm only spending uh, sort of uh, 50 silver at the most uh, or 45 silver and we get a charged lonestone um, just for people why am we doing this let's look at the, the charge core the charge core is worth one, uh, just over one gold. Okay, one point nine gold, uh, one point zero nine gold, and the charge lodestone, which in theory is double that, which should be around two point uh, tw two gold. It's over three gold, and the uh, so if we add in the difference of buying a, a you know the, the crystalline dust and uh, the alonium wine, it's actually cheaper. For you to buy cores and upgrade them to lodestones and it is to buy lodestone straight out uh, it is to more time consuming but uh, if you want to save yourself if you're going to craft a hundred lodestones man this will save you a lot of money um, so if we go through and we've got lodestones um, it doesn't have to be just the charged ones uh, as you'll see here i'm going to be doing it with the destroyer cores the destroyer cores are worth slightly less uh, we're going to have a look how much they're worth um, so the destroyer co uh, the cores are worth 3.5 uh, silver or three three uh, yeah 3.5 silver and so uh, let's forge that and we get the destroyer lodestone let's have a look how much this is so it's 73 load uh, for the lodestone um, if we take into account that the, uh, the the dust and the uh, alone and wine is around 45 silver you add on the two destroyer cores which come to about six silver you're still making again profit you're not as uh, substantial for the charged lodestones for some of the other materials i mean this is what you've got to look at you know people would be upgrading um you know glacial cores uh they're not worth it it's not worth if any of the lodestone that's worth less than 50 silver it's not worth doing so that's upgrading uh, the materials component and finally we have something that I've really been developing more recently um, I had around about 800 skill points or, um, at least eight, or one of my uh, I had 400 on one character and another six or seven hundred spread across my other characters and what I decided to do was use and look at uh, the Eldritch Scroll the Eldritch Scroll is 50 skill points and you can make this into a number of different weapons um, that really don't drop in the game. They have to be crafted through the Mystic Forge. So what we're going to do today, we're going to create uh, something. We've got the Eldritch Scroll. We're going to use Mystic Coins. We're going to use Bottles of Elone and Wine. And the last one is the Dust. The Dust is the last amount. So we're going to put there. Now this if we look at how much each is worth uh if we say 20 so you've got 82 silver for the mystic coins we have the eldritch scroll which is skill points so that doesn't cost anything 20 bottles of alone and wine that's pretty expensive that's several gold and the same for the piles of crystalline dust but what does this give us it gives us courage uh, the, the focus uh, courage which is used in a collection for the alcohol um, I already have this so I'm going to sell this at the trading post but look at the price of this over 9 gold for courage let's say that the the, the, the uh, for example uh, the dust and the uh, the bottles of alone and wine come to 5 gold what else did we spend? You know, we bought Mystic Coins, which came to less than a gold. We're still making, you know, three to four gold from our Eldritch Scroll skill point. 
Uh, admittedly, it's per skill point you're not making as much as you would if you upgraded the loads the charge cores. That's per skill point what you can earn the most. But uh, what you want to do uh, by selling, uh, you know, these high value items, it's a way to get uh, gold pretty quickly. So I'm just going to sell it for one, you know, copper less just to get that off the trading post, um, and the rest are going to dump back into, yeah. So I've got 19 bottles of loan and wine that's going to be used for other occasions. Um, yeah, that was such strange. I thought that should have been used a lot more. I assumed that was going to be using 20 bottles of alone and wine. Uh, I must have misread that. But that will come in, the, the alone and wine will actually come in handy. So that was actually, I, I made a mistake there. Uh, the alone and wine wasn't taking up most of it. Um, so yeah, I, I've made a nice percent. When, if that sells, I would have made around five gold profit. Um, that's pretty handy for me. So what you should look at is what the, some of these skill points can be used, uh, the items that they can be used for. Crystals for upgrading, alone and wine for upgrading and these special items. Uh, the Siege Master's Guide for upgrading blueprints. You know, a lot of things that, you know, if for, for skill points, when you they just build up and up and up. You don't realize, how, you know, you're acquiring them. You know, if we take me... I've got 505 skill points there, plus another 379 skill points uh, if I was to use the Tombs of Knowledge. That is a substantial amount if I was to start spending all of them. Um, I hope this has been helpful for you guys. You know, a lot of my guildmates were completely unaware that they could use skill points um, to create gold this way. You know, create items that... You know, mystic for mystic weapons. Mystic weapons are items that um, they're a tier they're a tier six weapons. So they're exotic, but they can only be crafted through the mystic forge or extremely rare drops. Um, and each mystic forge weapon, uh, mystic weapon, it has the same sort of skin as the inquest, but sort of a bluer tint. And uh, this weapon can go, for, you know, they tend to go between nine and eleven gold. So you look at what the skill points, particularly. You know, uh, sorry, if we look at what the Eldritch Scroll, I'd go to the Guild Wars wiki, look what the Eldritch Scroll can buy you. The Eldritch Scroll is a very, very powerful object that can be used to buy uh, uh, and create exotic items that can be sold on the training post for substantial amounts of gold. Uh, you know, these are skill points that a lot of people don't use. This is what they're there for. I hope this has been um, something that you might not have realised and any advice, any any suggestions people have for spending skill points, feel free to leave it in the comments. But uh, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you soon.